Hi everybody, today I'm going to be revamping my Instagram profile a little bit and my website and so I wanted to show you guys how you can optimize um, and get the most use out of the one link that we're allowed in our Instagram profiles. I think Instagram is one of the most popular social media outlets that people use so that's going to be um, what I'm focusing this video around. Here I have my Instagram pulled up. Your Instagram profile, you can always pull it up on a web browser or link people to it um, in Facebook posts, for example. If you are trying to get someone to follow you, you can always link to your Instagram by typing in instagram.com slash your username. So once you're in your Instagram profile, you have one link where you can edit um, edit it to any URL that you want, but you only get one. So um, a really good thing to do is use an app like this to be able to link more than one page to your Instagram. So here I have my Linktree username in my Instagram profile. Um, this is your bio link. As soon as you log into linktr.ee, um, you can sign up for free, like I said. This is going to be what it looks like to you, except you won't have any links here. Um, I have one link so far. So anyways, you can hide that, and this is what it looks like. It's totally customizable. Um, you can change the color to something that fits you or your personality or maybe matches your picture, like what I've chosen here. So. To add a link, all you need to do is you choose what you want the link to say and then you put in the actual URL itself. It's super simple. Um, the main thing I want to do here today is make some suggestions on which links to add. So the first link that I'm going to add um, that's going to go on the very bottom of my or on the very top of my page here. Um, I'm gonna put Stacy Kinney Fitness Home. So um, I don't think um, obviously not everybody has their own website, but if you do, if you have a website or a blog, which you can get one of those for free as well, um, that's another good place where you can link all your blog posts and everything like that in one. But I'm gonna put that at the top here. So that anytime anyone clicks my link in my Instagram, this will pop up and they'll immediately have a link to my website right here. Um, another good thing I forgot to mention earlier is the difference between um, this app and the other app that I was using is that the other app enables you to put pictures next to your links, but I actually like this simplified version better. Um, I don't think you need the pictures because it's kind of a distraction. You already have the pictures in your blog, in your Instagram, on your Facebook. This is a place where people can go just to find whatever link they need that day. Um, they don't need to get distracted by all your, uh, all your other pictures. So a couple other things that I think is important to add are follow me on Snapchat. So you might not have Snapchat, but if you have anything else besides Instagram, I think this is a good place to add that. If you do have Snapchat, your Snapchat can always be found at www.snapchat.com slash add slash your username. Okay, and let's see. You can do the same thing. I'm going to show you how to reorganize this in a second. You can do the same thing with your Facebook like page. Um, you can do your personal page too, but I think having a like page is pretty important. So here you want to put that. If you're not sure what the URL for your like page is, you can go customize it um, to anything that you want. So as long as it's not taken already, you can customize it. And then these you can just drag in any order that you want. So I think I'm gonna keep my website on top. 
I'm going to have my most recent challenge sign up link right here. And then I'll have my social media handles down here. So this is what it's going to look like when people are on their phones and they click my Instagram link. This will pull up. It'll have my picture, my Instagram name, and then all the links that I have customized. So hopefully that helped some of you out there. If you guys have any questions on this process or anything else that I can do to help you guys, I think my next video is going to be about WordPress and um, uh, how you can link your social media outlets on your WordPress. Um, once you get someone hooked into one of your outlets, it's good to have a resource where they can find you in other places because maybe they found you on Instagram, but if they're not really sure how to reach out to you on Instagram, so they'd rather follow you on Facebook. It's good to have those connections from outlet to outlet. So hope that helped somebody and I hope you guys all have a great day and I'll talk to you later.